What's going on YouTube? I am Germ here and today we got some good news and we got some bad news. I guess we'll start out with the bad news is that I'm sick. I feel like trash. I felt like trash for the last couple of days. Hopefully I'm not going to die. Who knows? But other than that, obviously the show must go on. The content must keep coming out and we have plenty of good and exciting news to talk about. Um, some of that being Stockholm Hollows have been absolutely going crazy. Some of them recently, we're going to go uh, go into that pretty in depth in this video, talking about which hollows have been moving up, which have uh, been staying more sideways and which ones should maybe be on your radar of purchasing before the pair sale ends. And then of course the CS2 open beta or like mostly open beta has now dropped. I finally gotten access to it in CS2. Most people have, all you have to have is a uh, prime and you have to have a rank. Rank. You have to be ranked in the like competitive matchmaking in CSGO, not on Face It or anything, actually on their own um, matchmaking service. And you have to be in one of the select regions that uh, has the beta. Obviously, I live in the United States. We have the beta. So it's a really, really great time. And this also means so many more people are getting access to CS2. So many people are getting to see how their skins, how their stickers, how their items look in CS2 and actually play the game. So the hype train is beginning. We're getting closer and closer to what a lot of people are expecting to be, you know, this CS2 boom, this whole new era of Counter-Strike, which is very, very exciting as well. Um, and yeah, I guess it's a good time to be sick. I'm going to get to play a lot of CS2. But... With that being said, here we go. So uh, looking at all these different markets, even before the CS2 uh, more open beta dropped, a lot of these things were going very, very crazy. You know, if we look at this Stockholm graph on eSport Fire, we can see, you know, really since like August 16th, Stockholm has just kind of been going up and up and up and up, kind of went down. But then here we have this little CS2 run right here um, where, you know, the whole market went from like 1580 to 1629. This has been very, very good. Obviously, you look at a lot of different things. RMR has been doing well. Um, we have Antwerp that has been doing well. We have Rio that's been doing well. Really, Paris was kind of the least affected by the whole CS2 thing. But again, Paris has been doing very well over the last like week or so as well. So a lot of things going crazy. The CS market in general, um, really, we can look at the eSports Fire uh, graph. We can see over the last couple of days, especially with this new CS2 announcement, the eSports Fire uh, market, CS market in general, all items have been doing very, very well. So it's it's been hard to lose money. It's been hard to have your inventory staying too stagnant recently. Um, but Stockholm specifically, I know I made a video a couple days about how a couple days ago about how crazy Paris was going and how I was looking at some certain Paris stickers. But let's look at what's been going on with some of my favorite Stockholm stickers. I know Gambit is one of my favorite ones, especially on the cheaper end. Um, it's a nice looking big red sticker, uh, unique, a uh, lot of good things going for the Stockholm uh, Gambit sticker. Um, but over the past week, it really hasn't gone that crazy. You know, uh, this is August 25th. It was 404 on the Steam market. Now it's 492. That's a nice little run. Uh, that's honestly pretty decent, but the, I don't know. The graph doesn't really look like that's what's happened. Um, but the Price have kind of been all over the place overall gambit doing pretty good hasn't had a crazy run up but still going from four to five dollars in a week that's actually really nice um keep an eye on it this is honestly one that i think is going to do very very well over the next like six months or so um i don't even think i own any gambit just because i'm spending my money in so many different places right now but i would definitely love to start opening up a gambit position um we have sharks this is a stockholm sticker that i actually do own for full transparency um let's see how it's been doing over the past week uh sharks been doing pretty good you know 460 about a week ago um, up to 533 now, nothing too crazy there. So again, if you do think that Stockholm, Antwerp, Paris, all these things are going to do well over the next couple of months, they're starting to go up, but they haven't really exploded in price just yet. So there are still chances to get some of these, um, you know, before the whole run up happens. Obviously about a month ago, this was $4. Now it's at 533. So Sharks has been doing good. Another unique, cool sticker that I think uh, is going to do well. I do own a small position in that. We have God Sent. This is another one that I do own. And again, this is one that's done good over the past week. This one was 542 um, around a week ago. This thing is up to 624 now. Um, definitely not, uh, you know, anything to scoff at there. That's a nice little run-up. Godsend's been doing very, very good. Unique sticker, unique kind of interesting logo. You could say it's cool. You could say it's kind of cringe, whatever, but um, I think it looks good. Um, and I think this is one that's going to do well. I think this is one that looks really, really cool in CS2 from what I've seen also. Um, we have the Heroic Stockholm, which again, I've said has been one of the best performing uh, Stockholm stickers. It's been one of the best performing stickers in the modern border stickerless era as well. And man, Stockholm, you can see here, it's been doing very, very good this past week as well, going from 495 up to 654. For whatever reason, Heroic is one that flies under the radar of a lot of people, but Heroic has been killing it. 
it. It's been one of the best performing Stockholm stickers, and I really think it's going to continue to do that as well. Um, it might not, not continue to be the absolute number one like it's been so far in the history of Stockholm, but um, I could see it continuing to do very, very good as well. Copenhagen Flames, one of my personal favorites in terms of design and look. Not necessarily my favorite in terms of investment, um, but I do think it looks very cool. And if you're just one who's looking for, you know, attractive stickers or cool looking stickers or whatever, that's fine. Copenhagen Flames gone from about 13, somewhere between 12 and 13 dollars up to like between 15 and 14. Um, so a nice little run there. You can just see that so many Stockholm stickers are just kind of consistently quietly increasing right now. And I really think that this is going to be what we're going to continue to see um, over the next six months. Now, the question is obviously going to be what's going to do better, Stockholm, Antwerp, Paris, or some other item class? What's going to be your best bet for all your money? Um, and honestly, I don't know. And it is a very, very tough decision. A lot of these decisions are uh, kind of stressful, kind of crazy, but that's also what it makes it fun and exciting, just how much opportunity costs and how much, um, you know, room for differentiation there is. And we're really going to see, um, you know, who ends up with the biggest gains and the best gains and everything from uh, this crazy time period we're in right now, especially with this huge curveball and X factor of CS2 being thrown in there. Virtus Pro Stockholm. This is one of my favorites from the whole collection uh, as far as an investment. Yes, it's a little bit more on the expensive end, so I don't necessarily love it the most, but I do think this one has been relatively uh, undervalued for a while, and I do own some of this one as well, uh, and it's been doing good for me. I've been very happy with it. You know, $17 um, up to around $18 in here, um, but obviously the price has been all over the place. You've been able to get it for $15 ish, um, and it's kind of just been a slow and consistent climber last month. Very, very good for it. $16 about a month ago, up to around $17 or $18 dollars now nothing too crazy there though but like i said even as the whole market's gone up there's been some of these who have not moved up as much so there might be an opportunity to look at the whole stockholm market see that it's been doing well but see these other stickers that are maybe lagging a little bit just because the whole stockholm market's been up some of that could be in foil some of that could be in hollow some of that could be in capsules there might be certain things that are not rising up as much so if you see in this video some of these stickers that you like that haven't had the crazy gains keep an eye on them those might be the ones you are interested in buying right now because if you look at something like Tai Lu. It's had a little bit crazy of a run-up. This thing was about $30 on August 24th. This thing is now up to $41. That's about a 30% gain in the past week for Tai Lu, which is crazy. Again, this is another one that I do own. I really, really like this. I know people are talking about Chinese New Year in 2024, year, or year of the Dragon or whatever in 2024. I think there's going to be a major in China in 2024 as well. Tai Lu just... A cool, unique looking logo anyway. Um, so it's definitely one that could do well. Um, I'm not sure if I have any others. Oh, of course, uh, we have to talk about the Mao Stockholm, which I don't believe has actually done that well. This one's actually down in the past week from 46 to $43. So if you are a Mao Stockholm enjoyer, maybe it's time to buy the dip a little bit on it. This could be a, a nice little entry point, uh, or it could just be the fact that, you know, Mao Stockholm might be a little bit overrated and the rest of the market's kind of catching up to it. Because even in the last month, this one has been pretty flat. So uh, while the whole Stockholm market as a whole has been going up as we saw by some of these esports fire graphs we have some stickers like mouse stockholm that's you know not necessarily performing like the rest of the bunch because again here's a one month graph for stockholm it's up a, a decent amount and we see the mouse stockholm is not necessarily keeping that pace so um, those were some of my favorite stockholm stickers that's how they're doing again so much exciting stuff's going on paris has been killing it antwerp stockholm rio there's you know there really hasn't been a way to not do well there hasn't really been a way to lose money uh so yeah i don't know hopefully you guys are doing well hopefully you guys are making some money. Again, I think the next six months are going to be so exciting. I'm glad to finally have CS2 access. I can finally check out some of that stuff. Uh, and I'm also glad to see my inventory and portfolio going up a little bit over the past couple of weeks. So uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But for now, Stockholm is exploding. But I don't think it's too late still to create some uh, positions and even add to some of your existing positions as well. Because um, I think this is just the beginning, but we'll have to wait and see. Pretty much it for this video today, guys. Hopefully catch you in the next one. But until then, peace.